Mike Trout, the best player in Major League Baseball, without a doubt. The dude keeps it up, he might become the best baseball player of all time. With him being so good and just so dominant in baseball, it always leads to the question of who's going to be the next Mike Trout. Heard about Joe Adele, who's happens to be in the Angels minor league system as well. Could it be Vlad Guerrero Jr.? Even though he doesn't play the outfield, the dude can swing the bat. Well, when looking this up, I actually stumbled across an article, which is the reasoning for today's video. The article is called MLB Prospects, 10 Prospects Who Could Be the Next Mike Trout. Now, this article was written back in 2012, right when Mike Trout got called up, and it was written by a guy named Mike Rosenbaum of Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report, eh, not necessarily the greatest sports opinions, but... I think for this video, it is going to be pretty good. So in this article, he talks about the 10 prospects he feels could become the next Mike Trout. And I think it's worth taking a look back, seeing who he says and seeing where they're at now and if he was right or wrong. But let's just see how wrong he is. Did he get anybody correct or was it just like, woo? miss after miss. Now I'll give this guy some credit. In this article, he was saying that he was looking for players who were 2020 players, 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases, and a guy who could hit for 300 average. Because back in 2012, Mike Trout was still a rookie and we didn't know that he was going to be hitting 40 home runs in the season. So I I'm going to treat it like real Mike Trout, but I'll also cut the guy some slack and treat it like 2012 Mike Trout, as well as what he detailed in the article. And let's just see how he did. All right, let's get it started here. Mike Rosenbaum, 10 prospects who could be the next Mike Trout. Like I said, he's looking for 2020 guys who could hit 300. All right, so the first player is David Dahl of the Colorado Rockies. At the time, you know, he was still in the minor league system. He was actually just drafted in 2012 that year. I didn't even know that. First round. Overview, one of the more athletic and toolsy players in the 2012 draft. David Dahl is a prospect who is incredibly skilled, but involves a considerable amount of projection. He has a smooth swing and plate discipline that allow him to handle quality pitching and drive the ball across the whole field. So eh, maybe not the best comparison, but let's see how David Dahl has done thus far in his career and if this guy's even close. David Dahl, let's see. Last year, pretty good season, 273. 16 homers, 11 doubles, 3 triples, 273 batting average, 325 on base, 534 slugging, OPS of 859. Now to call him the next Mike Trout for 2019 standards, I don't think so with David Dahl, but for what this guy was looking for back in the day, not too far off. David Dahl could definitely be a 2020 guy who hits for 300. So you know what? I'll give you I'll give you some props here, Mike Rosenbaum. You're one for one. Second guy on this list, though, uh, might not be as good. Mason Williams, New York Yankees. I honestly remember hearing this guy's name a little bit, but I haven't heard his name recently. Also, he was six feet tall, 150 pounds at the time. I mean, what? That is a skinny man. Drafted in 2010, he hit pretty well in A-ball. Let's see what his overview is. In his first professional season, Williams was ranked as the New York Penn League's top prospect after leading the league with 28 steals and posting a 349 batting average. He's a toolsy player who's both extremely athletic and projectable. At the plate, Williams has quick wrist and solid hand-eye coordination and a swing that projects for some power. Right now, he's mainly an arms upper body hitter. Ooh. Don't like hearing that, so the incorporation of lower half could yield significant results. Yeah, yeah, swing with the arms, not a good start. Have you guys heard of Mason Williams in the pros recently? But, you know, let's go take a look at his numbers real quick. Sorry, Mason Williams, I hate to do this. I don't want to rip on any players, but the next Mike Trout, I don't think so. He hasn't played more than 51 games in a season, which was the most he played last year. Now, granted, hit 293 in that short period of time, two homers, five doubles, a triple, six RBIs, he had 293 with a 331 on base. To call him the next Mike Trout, even for your 2012 standards, yeah, Mason Williams, I'm sorry, bud, but that's not gonna cut it. Ooh, all right, uh, number eight on the list was Reimer Liriano, and he's currently a Mets guy who's in their minor leagues, and they signed him as a non-roster invite, so I can tell you right now, he's wrong on Reimer Liriano, but let's take a look at why he thought he could maybe be the next Mike Trout. The overview he gave on Liriano, young outfielder with a ton of upside, he struggled at high A to begin the 2011 season, it was subsequently demoted to single A, where he garnered Midwest League MVP honors, that's pretty good. He possesses both power and speed, as well as an above average knowledge of the strike zone, above average speed. I mean, I've seen him now and he's a pretty big guy. Definitely still has some pop. And I'm sorry, Reimer, we got to look at the numbers because he's calling you the next Mike Trout. And when you look at the numbers, yeah, it's just not cutting it. He's never played more than 38 games in a season in Major League Baseball. And his career batting average is 220 with two home runs in his Major League career. I'm sorry, Reimer Liriano. I wish the best for you, man. But to call you the next Mike Trout, ugh, this guy was off again. One for three, not looking good here, Rosenbaum. Okay, so we're at number seven, and this one is funny because Anthony goes. He was obviously clearly a highly touted prospect, but I believe he's a pitcher now? Yeah, Anthony goes is a pitcher. Look at this on Google Images. He is a pitcher now. So, I mean, I think we have the answer already. Uh, not the next Mike Trout, but let's just give him a little bit of benefit.
benefit of the doubt here and see what he has to say. One of the most toolsy players in all the minor leagues goes has game changing speeds that grayed out as an easy 70, which I do remember Anthony goes can fly on the base paths. His plus defense and arm in center field will allow him to stick at the position as he's able to cover an obscene amount of ground. He flashed above average power last season at double A, though he'll likely only produce average pop in the major leagues, which makes me believe why would you think he's the next Mike Trout even if you're asking for 20 homers? I mean, that's not average pop, I don't feel like. His hit tool is the only thing that stands in the way of an immediate spot. Yeah, so, I mean, it sounds like you're convincing yourself that he's not even going to be the next Mike Trout in this article. And as we know, well, outfield didn't work for him. He's moved on to pitching. So Anthony goes, not the next Mike Trout. All right, here we go. Will Myers, at least a player who we know is in the major leagues right now and has had a pretty successful career thus far. Will Myers, big dude, 6'3", 205. He put up great numbers in the minor leagues. Obviously, was a super hype up prospect. So, you know what? Will Myers thus far has definitely been his best choice. Since entering the minor leagues in 2009, Myers has absolutely raked at every level. By the time he makes his debut, Myers should have 20 plus home run potential and the ability to be a 310, 320 hitter. Obviously, not on the Royals anymore, but uh, let's go take a look at Will Myers' numbers. Not the next Mike Trout of current times, but again, back to the 2020, I think Will Myers has actually done it. All right, we're looking at William Bradford Myers here. We're taking a look at his numbers. I mean, back in 2017, the dude had a great season for the Padres, 30 home runs, 20 stolen bases. There we go. 2016, 28 home runs, 28 stolen bases. So you know what? For the time being that the guy wrote this article, I'll give you props, man. Will Myers, spot on. One of your better projections right here. I mean, Mike Trout levels of 2019, absolutely not. But what you were saying for the time, really good call there. So he's back up to 500, two for four. All right, uh, number five, Gary Brown of the San Francisco Giants, a player I have legitimately never heard of, and I'm very confused as to why he was projected as the next Mike Trout because his double A numbers were not very good. I'm confused on why Gary Brown's on this list. In his first full season, Brown opened tons of eyes with his 80 grade speed and ability to make consistent hard contact. He has a knack for peppering the gaps with line drives and is an extra base threat. He may never hit 14 home runs again, but it really doesn't matter. His speed has him pegged as a Giants future leadoff hitter. So you're talking about a guy who you think is going to be a 2020 and hit 300, but he's never even done that in the minors and you don't think he'll come close in the majors. Huh? Why'd you put Gary Brown on here? All right, let's take a look at what Gary Brown's been doing thus far. Um, only, okay. Only came up in 2014, played seven games for the Giants. Hit 429, um but it doesn't look like he's going to be a 2020 player or the next Mike Trout. I mean, is this guy still in the minors? Okay, so as of 2016, he was playing in the Independent League and the, what, Atlantic Independent League? Yeah, that's like the Somerset Patriots, Long Island Ducks. So to say Gary Brown is the next Mike Trout, don't think so, Mike Rosenbaum. Two for five. Okay, so at number four, Jake Marisnik, obviously Major League Baseball player that we know now, kind of a defensive outfielder, so clearly not the next Mike Trout, but I don't, maybe did he sneak one year in there? I don't think he ever hit 20 homers. That's the biggest thing. But let's see what he saw. He saw a six foot four, 200 pound guy that could fly. I get it. When you look at this guy, he's a physical specimen. And that's what he says. At 6'4", Marisnik is an extremely athletic outfielder who will stick in center field due to his arm, plus range and arm. So, all right, big guy, super fast, lots of talent, a lot of raw ability. I'm just going to take a look here with Jake Marisnik's numbers because I just don't think he has done it, but we'll give it a look. So Jake Marisnik's best seasons seem to have come with the Astros the last two years. 2017, he actually played in 106 games, 16 homers and 230 at-bats. That's actually really good power right there. That's a really good job, along with 10 doubles. So he had a he had slugging almost at 500, which you don't think of with Jake Marisnik. Stolen bases, though, a little bit low. His highest ever was 24. So to call him the next Mike Trout, no incorrect again but i could see it just just not right mike yeah number three this is a player that has just been so disappointing and i feel like everyone was calling him kind of the next mike trout type player byron buxton ah oh, this is sad byron buxton was drafted that year and obviously since he's been drafted all you've been hearing about is the absolute raw ability this guy has so fast great in the outfield can swing the bat a little bit has some pop just has not shown it at the pro level whatsoever uh overview of course is going to go over everything that i pretty much just said if Buxton's hit tool develops, as many scouts predict, he has a chance to be a legitimate five-tool player, which it just has not happened yet. And when you look at the numbers, he got really close to being the next Mike Trout for 2012 standards, but I feel like with Byron Buxton, people had a way higher ceiling with him, so I'm still debating whether or not I'll allow it. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to, and here's why. In the article, the guy said 20 homers, 20 steals, 300 batting average, and listen, Byron Buxton's best season thus far in Major League career has been 2017, where he hit 16 homers. He had 29 stolen bases, which eclipsed the number, but a 253 batting average. I can't, I can't even say that one's correct. So, 
man, struggling out here. Struggling out here. Byron Buxton, not the next Mike Trout. Okay, uh, coming in at number two, Bubba Starling. Another guy similar to Jake Marisnik, a big physical specimen. 6'4", 195. But uh, as you can probably tell, he's not going to be the next Mike Trout. Have you heard of Bubba Starling in a long time? I remember hearing about the hype of him. But something, I don't remember if he had some injuries, but it just has not panned out. Oh, Mike, Mike, you didn't say this, Mike. Oh, stop, Mike. Any conversation about five tool prospects isn't complete without referencing Bubba Starling. Heavily recruited for every sport out of high school, it cost the Royals $7.5 million to lure him away. Oh, no, the Royals. Oh, KC, I mean, you won a World Series in 2015, so I don't really feel bad for you, but... That's a swing and a miss. At 6'4", 195, Bubba Starling is strong and athletic, and he has already flashed double-plus power. He should hit for some average in the future, although his true value is rooted in his power-speed combination. Also, a standout pitcher. Starling has been clocked in the mid-90s off the bump. Hold on, wait. Is there a possibility we have another player who's turned to a pitcher? All right, it's time to look up Bubba Starling. Well, it's never a good thing when you type in his name on baseball reference and you don't have the option to click. So we had to go ahead and find him through Google. Bubba Starling never made an appearance in Major League Baseball. What is this, the FGW? This has gotta be some kind of like winter league, I'm assuming, right? Dominican Winter League. He was trying to hit, only got oh, only got three at-bats, Bubba. He was in AAA last year for the Royals, but only played in 11 games. What's going on with Bubba? Did he have some injuries? Look at this. Bubba Starling walks it off for the Royals in a Cactus League win over the Padres. And this was written February 28th. And what's today's like the second or the third? Bubba Starling's red hot spring continued with a walk-off. So, hey, Bubba Starling, I'm glad to hear that you're trying to come back and you're playing pretty well in spring. All right, so Bubba Starling doesn't appear to be on their 40, man. He appears to be a non-roster invite. Yep, there he is, Bubba Starling. Wow. All right, so he's trying. Listen, I hope he does great. Look at him in the spring. Look at these numbers. Two homers, six hits, five RBIs, 600. I mean, yes, it's, you know, only 10 at-bats, but that is definitely a hot start for a guy who was considered to possibly be the next Mike Trout. So has he proven that yet? Absolutely not. But could he? I don't think so. But Bubba, good luck, man. I hope you succeed. And then the final player on this list is Christian Yelich, which <laughs> MVP last season. I think we're getting pretty close to what you think. And honestly, for the 2012 projections that this guy had of Mike Trout 202300, Christian Yelich, definitely the best choice on this list by far that he's picked. I thought it was Will Myers. No, Christian Yelich, best pick he's had thus far. Here's what he said about Yelich. Still 20 years old, Yelich hit tool already grades out as a plus and has room to grow with improvement in his plate discipline. His swing is incredibly smooth and fluid, which allows him to attack pitches throughout the entire strike zone. Listen, Christian Yelich. I mean, he had him at number one, so that's probably the guy he felt most confident with, Ben. He's the most right with Christian Yelich. Well done, Mike. You got one who's like spot on. I mean, out of all the guys on this list, you look at Christian Yelich's numbers the past three seasons, 20 homers. Now, not stealing 20 bases that year, but close to 300 average. The year before, 18 with 16 stolen bases, close to 300. And then obviously last year, MVP season, the dude went off. So yeah, I'd say Christian Yelich close to the next Mike Trout. So not <laughs> that was definitely the best choice in this article. So this was a different kind of video, something a little bit of fun, going over 10 prospects back in 2012 who a guy thought might be the next Mike Trout. If this is something you want to see more from the channel, the best way to show your support is to leave a like on the video. Then I'll do more of this kind of stuff. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content you want to see more. We're covering baseball almost every day on here. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to be the next Mike Trout. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DraftNeckMark. Links in the description. Thank you guys for watching the video. YouTube recommends you watch this one right here, as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through those if you want to see them and help support the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.